What's going on everyone? Today we are taking a look at the brand new Logitech Tap Scheduler, an integrated digital scheduling panel for your conference space. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the contents of the Tap Scheduler box, doing a device overview, taking a look at all the pieces and components that we need to know, and then finally doing a demo of using the Tap Scheduler in a Microsoft Teams Rooms environment. Let's dig in. The scheduler itself comes in some protective plastic wrapping. So we'll go ahead and flip that around from the back. It can kind of break that apart right at the seam and then carefully pull it out. We've also got a protective film covering the 10.1 inch touch panel. And go ahead and peel that off. And there it is. The Logitech Tap Scheduler has a 10.1 inch touch display with an anti-fingerprint oleophobic coating. Both sides of the Tap Scheduler have a long LED light on the side, making it easy to see whether the room is available or busy. It will be green when available and can be red or purple in other states. Coming to the back of the scheduler, you can see where we will mount the device to the various different mounting brackets that it comes with. We also see that we have a single RJ45 and ethernet port right here, allowing you to curve that cable gently around to a side exit for your cable, or if it will be wall mounted and the cable will go through the wall, then you can have that cable come right out the back of the device as well. And right at the back bottom, we've got the factory reset button with the corresponding LED light. Included in the box are a number of mounting options. A scheduling panel may find itself on a number of surfaces. You may wall mount it, you may have a fancy conference space with a glass wall and you want to glass mount it, or you may be wanting to mount it to the edge of a door or window frame. All the hardware for mounting is included in the box right here. The multi-surface mount will go on the back of the Logitech Tap Scheduler under pretty much all the mounting scenarios. We've got a built-in uh, level here to help us when we're mounting it to the wall to make sure that we've got uh, the thing perfectly level so it doesn't look crooked or off. Your four different screw holes that will go into uh, whatever the surface is that it's going into. And then we've got this little piece on the end to kind of lock it in place once the scheduler has been slid into the multi-surface uh, mount. In addition to the multi-surface mount, if you're going to mount to a door frame or window frame, let's say you've got like a a metal frame or a wood frame that you want to attach this to instead of mounting it directly to the wall, this frame will actually tuck right into this little piece here. So this allows you to first line this up on the frame to get it level and even and make sure the screw holes are all in the right place. You get this little insert so that you can line everything up properly. Drill your holes, attach this outer, uh, outer piece and then the mullion mount itself sits right in there and connects through the holes. Then of course the multi-surface uh, mount for the scheduler will attach to these four screws that you see here. And this is a metal piece for sturdiness with this being a plastic piece that it sits in here attaching directly to uh, the door or window frame. We've also got a bridge and cover, these are called. If you're going to use the mullion mount or glass mount it, and you wanna run the cable out the side of the scheduler instead of through a wall, this is gonna be especially important if you're mounting to glass, this will attach to the side of the multi-surface mount, and that way you can run the cable through here, bridge the gap between the wall and the, the scheduler, and then this little cover clips right into the top so that you're flush in there, the cable is coming through the edge, but you're not seeing any of the cabling or stuff underneath of it. It just looks like a nice clean white surface. And then finally, if we are glass mounting, we need to stick the uh, multi-surface mount to the glass. So we get these two strips of adhesive, some strong adhesive there to make sure this thing sticks to that glass and doesn't come off. 
For our demo, we're gonna be installing the tap scheduler using the wall mount. We're gonna put a hole right through some drywall and then run our ethernet cable through it so that we have no cables showing. The cable will run through this little hole in the back. So we just simply put our finger in there, pop that right out. And then once we get this installed on the wall, using our level to make sure it's perfectly straight and even, then we will uh, put the screws through here into the, uh, into the, anchors that we're going to install in the drywall that'll hold it nice and firmly in place and then once this is on we can slide our scheduler in let's go ahead and get it installed as you can see we've got our multi-surface mount mounted to the wall this will make sure that we've got uh, no cable showing on the sides because we've got the ethernet cable coming right through the wall here uh, coming into the level you can see we are about as level as we're going to get it this should leave our device looking nice and straight on the wall and now we need to take that RJ45 and connect it into that RJ45 uh, port on the back. So we'll go ahead, connect this in. Once we've got our cable connected, these little inserts right here are going to slide behind these slots up top. So we'll fit this in right here and then slide it over. So we'll start down here, get ourselves lined up, nice and flush, slide it in. Now it's nice and snug in place. And then we'll take this little end piece here and this will go right on the back so that we don't have anything showing on the side. Uh, it'll look nice and clean. And then we've got a couple screws to put in to hold that in place. Taking a look at the scheduler, we are now connected to the wall with the ethernet cable and we are all flush. Nothing is visible from the sides, no cables, nice clean installation. As we plug it in, we give some life to the device. It powers on because of our lighting. Our purple screen is coming through a little bit blue on the recording itself. Coming to the side, we get a little better view of the coloring. That straight on shot kind of washed out the colors on the screen, but it is a vibrant purple uh, with the Logi logo. It is powering up now that we've got the PoE plugged in. Once the scheduler comes online for the first time, we'll walk through our initial setup. We're in the United States, we'll leave it there. We'll select our time zone as Eastern, where are you? There we go. And language is English, we'll leave it there. We're gonna agree. If your PoE is on the network, which it probably should be, then you're good to go with a wired connection. However, with, uh, in our lab, we don't have that set up that way. So we're gonna go ahead and just do a wireless connection. It is recommended to only use that for software updates but we're gonna do it for our purposes across the board. After we get our wireless uh, network set up, do we wanna configure a custom NTP? We're gonna say no for now. Don't wanna configure a network proxy, but we can. Setting up our network. I do wanna point out in the video, it's kind of doing a little bit of its weird auto-correcting on the lighting of the image because we have a display here. If I put my hand over it, you see that stuff kind of disappear. That's just the camera trying to make sense of the lighting. Uh, so don't be fooled by the lighting trickery that you see going on there. We see that we do have a critical update required since we just started this up for the first time. We'll say update now. You'll notice that it's updating Collab OS, which is Logitech's Android operating system running on its Rally Bar, Rally Bar Mini, and its roommate. Once the tap scheduler finishes its update, it reboots and brings us to our video service provider screen. Now, the tap scheduler is certified for Microsoft Teams, Zoom Rooms, as well as Medio and Robin. It is certified as a scheduling solution for Google Workspace, and that is how Medio and Robin work. They connect into the Google Calendar. In our demo here, we're gonna be setting it up for Microsoft Teams, so we tap that and we click Next. All right, here we can either sign into Logitech Sync, where we can manage updates and this device, or we can skip this step. Uh, we'll go ahead and skip this for now, but definitely an option for others in the future. Our installation, we're either gonna have, the, we can change our room name, service provider, we've got the uh, configuration as auto, IP information, all that good stuff, we'll leave them as is. Installation complete, we're all set, and Microsoft Teams launches. At this stage, we now need to sign in. Now, what I want to point out is that we're going to be signing in with the same room account. Since this is Microsoft Teams, we're signing in with the same room account that we have set up over on our um, MTR running Android 
you see we have the Logitech Rally Bar Mini signed into this device. Looking over at the tap for this device, you can see we've got the Logitech Rally Bar Mini there as well. And we're gonna use the exact same account to sign in here. No additional licensing is required on the Microsoft Teams side. You just need to sign into the same account all the way around so that uh, you are accessing the same calendar. Once we authenticate on our laptop, the screen will load. It detects we are signing in. The device gets registered so that Microsoft Teams as a service recognizes it as part of the room system. And there we go. We are signed in with the Logitech Rally Bar Mini. Same account that we see over here on our tab. Coming back to our scheduler, we can see that we are available and we have nothing on the agenda for the rest of the day. If we come down here and click the uh, settings screen, we can report an issue. We've got about and then our device settings. Clicking on the device settings will prompt for the admin password. Once the admin password is in, we click submit and we've got all of our regular settings in here. We can connect to the sync portal. We can install updates if there are updates. The screen and lights, we can change the orientation if we need to, or we can change the appearance from light to dark. We'll go ahead and keep light. Connectivity, we've got all of our network connectivity information here. System information, our service provider is Teams. That can be changed if we needed to, but we're gonna keep it on Microsoft Teams for this demo, and then our regional settings as well. Finally, we come over to About, and About gives us device info, all right here, analytics and logs, and then our ability to restart and reset the device as well as report an issue. Coming over to the side of the screen, we see that we have our green LED going on right here. Now, as we have no meeting scheduled, we wanna get a meeting scheduled right away. Again, coming back over to the tap, we have no meetings showing up on the tap, and we see no meetings on the main display of our room. So coming back out to the room scheduler, we're gonna hit reserve. And we can have, we have it called ad hoc meeting. Real Logitech Rally Bar Mini is the place. We can choose our end time. We're gonna book this for an hour. So we'll say 2.30. We can see it's a whole hour on there and we'll say reserve. We now see that we have reserved the meeting for that time space. It shows up on the edge of this device here. It is reserved. Coming over to the side of the device, the lighting makes this a little difficult to see. It almost looks yellowish in the camera, but that's actually a red LED indicating the room is now in use and reserved. Coming over to the tap, we see that that meeting is now right here on the tap. We have it reserved for that block of time. If we look at our main MTR display, we see the reserved space in the top of the calendar section as well. Coming over to the tap, we have our one touch join. We'll tap join and it will Tap it again. There we go. Now it's joining, coming on over to the MTR. We see the display, camera has picked up. We are joined in the meeting. Pretty brilliant. You walk up to the scheduler, you reserve the space. It indicates with the LED being red that the room is reserved. You walk into the room, click join, boom, you're in the meeting, it already knows you're there. Coming back to the tap, we've got all of our regular meeting controls right down here at the bottom and we can just as easily manage the meeting like we would any other and then hit hang up when we're done. And that is using the Logitech Tap Scheduler as our Certified for Teams, Teams Rooms panel. And there you go, pretty short and sweet, the Logitech Tap Scheduler functioning as a Certified for Teams, Microsoft Teams Rooms panel. Hope you found this useful. Please leave all of your feedback in the comments below in this video. I'd be happy to get back to it and hear your thoughts. If this was helpful, if it was useful, please share it on all the social media accounts. And as always, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the YouTube channel at that very handy link at the bottom of the video, and then sign up for notifications so you don't miss out on my next video. Thanks for watching, and I hope we'll see you back here for the next one.